Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install Exif Tool so that you can simply go to a folder, type either CMD, and then have Exif Tool available in the folder to query the Exif information of files. As simple as that. Or again, you can launch something like PowerShell, um, ISE. And again, have that launched in the directory. And then even here, we'd be able to run X if tool. Okay. Let's jump into it. Okay, so on the Windows 10 machine here, first of all, what we could do, if we launch a web browser and we go over to exiftool.org, what we need to download is the Windows executable. So if we click on here. Okay, we can now those open the file. And we see we've got the exif tool here. What we now need to do from here, close the web browser, we can copy this to a folder on the machine. So what I'm going to do here initially is copy this I'm then going to move over to this PC, near for C drive and program files. And under here, I'm going to create a new folder for EXIF. We'll call this EXIF tool. And in here, I will paste the file. And we're then going to rename this to be EXIF tool. This is the first stage. Now if I was to launch into this folder, just do CMD and type exif tool. You can see we've got the uh, support and help options there. Let's hit control C. And that's from there. Okay, so now what we need to do is play, copy this path into the clipboard. So I've literally clicked into the toolbar here. Everything is highlighted and I've selected copy. We next need to run the run command. This can be done by pressing the Windows key and R or typing run and bringing up the run prompt. In here then, we're then gonna type system properties advanced, all one word, and press okay. This will launch the system properties window and take us to the advanced tab. On here, we will then click on the environment, environment variables. And we need to modify the system or the user variable. So in this case, we're gonna scroll down to path and we're gonna select edit. And then we're gonna add in a new option here and paste this in and press okay. So if we go back into edit here, we can now see we've now got another path for exif tool. Okay, let's dismiss these dialogues. And that should be as simple as that. And we can confirm this is the case now. If I change to a different directory, so, uh, this pictures directory of dog pics, and type CMD, and now type exif tool here, we can see exif tool now launches in that folder as it's now in the path. And that's it, all installed. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, if you found this useful, please like, subscribe, and if you've got anything you'd like to see, Feel free to comment below. Thank you.